hey once again guys welcome to uh, this uh, tutorial it's still part of our service now uh, tutorial that we had if you uh, haven't subscribed to my channel uh, and if you haven't uh, watched the previous video that I did on an overview of service now uh, yeah, I'll drop the uh, video link in this uh, tutorial so in this tutorial today I'll be walking you guys on how you can clone or you can copy a change and you can search for a change so we'll just look for it here this is a change once you just type the change you don't need to press the space bar because if you click on the space bar it's gonna give you something else in the overview of uh, service now I didn't mention on the different type of change like you can see in a new change you can see that we have uh, an expedited change or you can call it a normal change or a standard change or an emergency change they are different but note this is the free version of service now so you just have to see to emergency and you have normal and now to clone a change you always clone it from a, a, a closed change which means that the change was already executed and everything went successfully once I click on this close, this is a sample of different uh, uh, changes that many people have already done them and you highlight on all, okay? Once you highlight on all, it gives you thousands and thousands and thousands of different changes. Many people are using this free version. In my next tutorial, I'll be working you guys on how you can have a free version of service now so you can see here that you have this is one of 20 and we have like 100 of different changes here if you come here under this search bar you can just search a change by number so when they talk searching a change by number they are referring to this change control number chg004007 you can also search a change by short description you can also search a change by type could be expedited emergency it could be a standard you can also search a change by the start date if you remember the start date of that particular change you can also search that change by you you can also search a change by plan start and by the end date you can also search a change by who it was assigned to these are the key different ways you can search for a change let's take for example uh, this we're gonna use this one change as a as a way to clone this particular change that uh, we are working will be working on so if i happen to open this change like as i mentioned earlier once this change open you'll see how you can use the different uh, stuff to clone the particular change so finally this change has opened <clears throat> you can search by this number if we copy this number and search we'll see this change that's the first way of which you can uh you can you can search for a change in that bar menu i mentioned that you can search for a change by description you can just type this description please reboot application server uh, people soft you can search a change by it the start and the end date of which they mention on how you can search a change is here if you happen to see here there's no start and end date here so if you happen to look at this window here this is where you find the start and the end date of that particular change so if you actually know this since the change was closed, you can look for it in this particular area here. Or if you come down here, there are other ways you can also search by the justification or by the risk impact. Or you can come and look here, the impact of this change was very low. So if you want to clone this change, how can you clone the change? You come under this burger sign. Once you come on this burger sign and you click this burger sign, there are key things you see here. You can serve the change, you can copy the change, you can cancel the change, you can also add to a visual dashboard, you can create an outage. Uh, in my last video, I mentioned on how you can create an outage. When we talk of creating an outage, we simply means that users will not be able to make good use of the application when it's running or when or no when the well, the change is taking uh, is taking place meaning that they won't be able to access if it's a website if it's maybe like you guys are working in a financial environment and customers will not be able to make use of the atm so that's what we call you create an outage so if i happen now to come now here and click copy change so i've already cloned so they're asking me uh leave site 
So changes you made may not be safe because I came in here and I clicked the schedule and others type of stuff. So if I have to leave this particular site, I've already now cloned the change. So you can now see that the fact we had here, we had our our piece remote app server. You can see here that is the configuration item. So I'm now able, I've now been able now to clone this particular change. That's why you are seeing at the top here that the change now is a new record. This change number is totally different. So it's very simple on how you can clone a change, how you can wipe and we talk of cloning or you talk of copy. So searching for a change, if you are like working in an environment where you constantly, you are constantly uh, working on change control rather than going through the process of creating new change control all over and over, it's always very simple. Go and copy a similar change. And how do you do that? Click the burger sign, then you can now come and clone. So since this is a new change, this is how you know when if you have copied or if you have cloned a change successfully. Once you click on this burger sign, it's going to tell you, are you saving or you are creating an outage? So you cannot see the copy uh, option anymore. So this is how you can clone a change. This is how you can search for a change. And this is how you can know if you have it right or not. So I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, give it a like the subscription button so that you not uh, miss 